Hey, Gold Rush fans. Episode 25, the Panama Canal jackpot. It's in the books, so let's break it down. Welcome back, everybody, to Gold Rush Minute. If you're new to the channel or a subscriber, I'm Gold Rush Minute, where I break down the most recent episode of Gold Rush and all its spinoffs. We talk about the miners and go over past episodes of the series. This week, we had Team Parker, Team Beats, and Team Clayton. So let's start it off with Team Clayton. The only luck the guys are having this episode is bad luck. From a blown tire on the loader, washing out gold of the sluice box, and most importantly, Golden Acres being a dud, these brothers are due for some good luck. Between human and mechanical errors this week, the brothers are in desperation mode. Brandon and Brady know they are resilient and they have a great mentality, but how long can they honestly keep up their spirits with disappointments after disappointments? To hit their goal of 200 ounces, they really need Lady Luck on their side. This week though, it was another letdown for the team. They mined 13.2 ounces of gold, bringing their season total to 139 ounces. Next up is Parker. So having the episode named after your cut kind of gives the audience a great teaser of what's to come. So Parker's team is running at full speed, and this is expected. The Indian River water license, it ends at the end of this season. Although breakdowns, you know, they plagued Parker's crew this episode, Mitch had to be basically MacGyver to keep the super stacker operational. You know, honestly, I have to admit and give him a lot of credit to Mitch. He's very resourceful. Unfortunately, though, the newly bush fixed generator, you know, it kind of went up in smoke, shutting down the entire operation for Slucifer. One thing that kind of stands out to me in this episode is how Parker just gives up on the cut. He shuts down Slucifer for the season. You know, from my own perspective, Parker looked defeated, exhausted, and over the season. With Big Red being the only wash plant running, Parker's going to leave a lot of gold in the ground. So let's talk about the gold now. This week, Big Red produced 355 ounces, and Slucifer produced 172 ounces at first. Then Chris brings out a pan weighing 400 ounces, giving them a week's total of 928 ounces and a season total of 7,489. For me personally, I absolutely love Chris for this move. Yeah, it's probably scripted or maybe not, but still a nice bait and switch at the end there. Hey everybody, just want to take a moment and thank everybody that has subscribed to the channel. And if you haven't yet, it only takes a moment and it's free to do. Last up is Team Beats. So breakdowns again was the theme of this episode and all the miners experienced some sort of mechanical issue. Tony, I feel, was hit the hardest. Tony's most important and most valuable piece of equipment on his site came to a halt this episode. The one piece of equipment that makes him millions of dollars each year and that's his trommel. So lack of maintenance is to blame here, and doing patch repairs, you know, it finally caught up to the Klondike legend. Their backup trommel, the Moose Creek trommel, was in no way, shape, or form a quick replacement. So time, money, and energy was lost in this episode, trying to get that spare trommel up and running. In the end, Tony's mechanics did yet another patch job on the trommel, and they were up and running. So let's talk about the gold now. So they're sitting at 4,600 ounces, and they need 400 more to hit that goal of 5,000 ounces. At this point in the season, it's a sure bet that they're going to hit 5,000 ounces and exceed that but by how much this week though there's no gold way so we'll have to wait until next week or possibly the week after there you have it gold rush fans if you like the content and you want to see more please subscribe to my channel it's free to do and i greatly appreciate it till the next time